Now we will consider the imaginary formation of silicon crystal from silicon atoms as n atoms come together to form the silicon crystal. In a single atom we have already said that in 3s we have two states and in 3p we have six states available for a single atom. So for a single atom we have two states available in the s subshell and six in the p subshell. We are now discussing only about the valence shell. Now how many electrons are there? So the number of electrons are two in the 3s that is 3s subshell is completely occupied and in 3p we only have two electrons okay in 3p we have six six states but only two electrons are occupied now let's consider a system where we have n atoms now n atoms we will now have two n states in the 3s subshell and six n states in the 3p subshell the number of electrons you have 2n in 2s subshells and 2n in 3p subshells so now we are considering the system when we have n atoms. When the atoms are really far apart, as you can see in this diagram, the energy levels may coincide. Okay, here it is 6n states and 2n electrons. In 3s, we have 2n states and 2n electrons. Now let's bring these atoms together. So as the atoms come closer and closer, the energy levels split and the splitting first happens in the outer shell. We have already discussed that. And as the atoms come closer and closer, the bands, the energy levels split and essentially form two bands. So we have an upper band and a lower band and in the upper band now we have 6n states and 2n electrons and the lower band we have 2n states and 2n electrons. Now what happens, let's see, as we decrease the interatomic distance further. Now they are coming more and more closer, the atoms are coming more and more closer okay at this particular interatomic distance we essentially have a continuous single continuous band okay. we have a single band okay. where we have 8 n states and 4 n electrons so after that as we reduce the distance further the energy levels again splits now this time we have an upper band with 4 n states and 0 electrons and lower band with foreign states and all four electrons occupying the lower state. The upper band we call it as the conduction band and the lower band we call it as the valence band. So this is the actual spacing in the case of silicon crystal. That means this is the spacing where the atoms come together and form silicon crystal. Now we can see that the lower foreign states are completely filled Okay, at 0 Kelvin, the lower foreign states are completely filled with the foreign electrons. And the upper band is completely empty. And we have a gap or an energy gap between these two. Okay. So we can see that there are no available energy level, energy states in the energy gap. So this gap where we cannot find an electron is called forbidden energy gap. So this is called forbidden energy energy gap. Let's quickly recap what we have already discussed. So we are considering n silicon atoms coming together to form our silicon crystal. So this is the actual spacing between silicon atoms in the case of a silicon crystal. When these atoms come closer and closer, the energy levels at first essentially form two bands, an upper band and lower band with the upper band having 6n states and 2n electrons and lower band having 2n states and 2n electrons. After that they essentially merge together and form a single continuous band with 8n electrons and sorry 8n states and 4n electrons. After that they again split into two now with the upper band having 4n states and no electrons and the lower band with 4n states and 4n electrons. So the upper band we call it as the conduction band and the lower band we call it as the valence band. The gap between the conduction band and the valence band we call it as the energy gap or forbidden energy gap.